bit surreal at this point still. You know, the, the legacy and the tradition, the pageantry of Ohio State, to be a part of that, I mean, what more could that for? You know, what is it like to be back here? Obviously, you've been back here many times since you left, but a game like this, I mean, you know, you're being honored at midfield. What was that feeling like? Well, I really can't describe it, you know, but I will tell you this, to have my kids here, so I find my boys and that's special, you know, as a father, and I'm quite sure many of you are here of dads, you know, to have your kids be a part of the work that you put into this whole process of life, man, it's uh, it's beautiful. Does it seem like a long time ago, Charles, or does it, oh or does it just move quickly? I still remember sitting over at the Woody Hayes trying yeah. to figure out how the hell I was going to get to practice my freshman year, and here you are now, and watch my high school uh, son practice, you know, his freshman year of football, his first day, and... You know, it's just, you know, just life is moving forward, man. It's cool. You ever, you ever put on the old film and show the kids? Show All the, the time. <laughs> are they impressed? Well, they act like they aren't, but I, I'm, I'm still impressed, but whatever. It doesn't matter about me. Well, you put on the film to show the power old line guys how to do it, right? Well, you got to put on film nowadays to get, you know, what it looks like a three-point stance looks like. So yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. As, a, as a leader and a center, when Brandon Bowen went down in the game, the right guard, when that happens with you, when you are a leader, like, what do you tell your, your line mates, your teammates when somebody goes down? Don't be the guy to let us down. You know, that's why you prepare each and every day throughout the course of the week. You have to be ready. You have to stay ready for your opportunity when it, when it comes. And in situations like that, you don't want to be the guy that lets everyone down. Charles, well, you had such a tough end to how your career ended. When you think about what you did on the field, how do you look back at all your playing days from high school yeah. to Ohio State to the pros? You know, it's, yeah, that's a great question. I'm so disconnected from my playing days now, but moments like this, you have to look back on it. I can't uh, believe and it. The winner is it's still it's unbelievable at times. You know, I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve, but at the same time, how my career ended was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. So I'm forever grateful for that experience that I've, I've amassed over the years. I'm grateful for how my career ended because it's allowed me to be where I'm at today. Are you having more fun now than you did Oh my God, hell yeah. You know, Saturdays, Fridays, Sundays, no stress. I get to sit back and, and be a fan and watch and, and see the game from a different perspective and cheer for other people and see other people be successful. It's, it, it's a different feeling, but I like it. Everybody you've helped get into, get into the pros or you've helped along the way, is Pat Elfline right up there? That's my guy. Yeah, I love Pat, and he reminds me so much of myself. And I find myself each and every week when we talk and go through the game plan for the upcoming week. You know, the questions that he's asking, you know, the same questions I had when I was a rookie. Yeah. Uh, the things that I'm telling him, the things that I wish someone would have told me. So it's pretty cool to have someone, obviously, uh, that's gone through the process that I've gone through, and to be able to help him go through the things that uh, you know I wish I didn't have to go through as a player to kind of avoid that. It's, it's special. Charles, when you were coming out of San Ignatius and coming down here, did you, how confident were you that you could have the kind of career that you had? You know, that's a, boy, I knew it's what I wanted to do. And not understanding fully the process and everything that was going to go into it because you're young and naive and you just think that, you know, success always is going to translate as you move forward in life. That's not the case. So you have to recalibrate and understand that there's going to be another level of success that you have to work towards. And that took a little bit of time to figure that out. Once I figured it out and got my feet wet, I knew that I could be as good as anyone else I've ever played against or played with or has been here, obviously, and, and been a part of this great university. Right now with our training. Thank you.